Now I'm putting coffee in my tub, my wife would kill me. Today, we're talking about the most interesting man in the world. But it's not Matt Best. It's not Jack Carr. It's none other than Teddy Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Before we continue on with the video, let's talk about this video's sponsors today. By sponsors, I mean affiliation codes because I'm not cool enough to actually have sponsors. That being said, alehorn.com, livebearded.com, and none other than norsetradesman.com. Norsetradesman.com is where I got some incredible axes from. If you want to know how well these axes do, check out my YouTube channel. I test out these axes by throwing them at axe throwing. Alehorn.com. Alehorn.com is the only company that I know that sells ale horns that accept hot liquids. That's right. You go out and check out other uh, ale horns, they will tell you no hot liquids. This is my coffee ale horn. Just to let you know how well it does from alehorn.com. Live Bearded. Live Bearded has taught me everything I need to know about how to take care of my beard. That's right. We got from shampoo, oil, and butter. Those are the basics. They do a lot more, and they have an incredible YouTube channel that teaches you how to take care of your beard. If you're like me, who, when I first started growing a beard, I had no idea what I was doing, Live Bearded's got you. All of these codes can be found in my all links that will be posted in the description of this video. And when you click on any one of them, that will send you right through, and you got the automatic code. Go shopping. Teddy Roosevelt. So it took me a minute to figure out what I was supposed to do for this because, let's be real, man's a legend. And then it hit me as I'm reading the bag, Teddy Roast of Elf. So I thought, let's do a roast. And then one of my friends was like, no, 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 it's Teddy Roosevelt. He's like the real, okay, the real most interesting man in the world. And I thought, crap. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do both and let's see how it goes. So there's going to be some jokes. There's going to be some facts told in a jokeful way or jokeful tone. Or just you're going to sit there and hear it and go, there's no fucking way that's real. But yes, to start off with, Teddy Roosevelt really got shot during a speech, said, hold on, partner, and uh, continued for about an hour and a half of that speech while bleeding. Teddy Roosevelt, the most interesting man in the world. I also thought about it and realized that roasting Teddy Roosevelt is like, well, it's like Michael Scott trying to roast. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm just going to keep playing that boom roasted clip because these roasts are going to be bad. Speaking of getting shot, Teddy, you spoke for hours and you didn't win. Boom. Roasted. You know, education through the Smithsonian about all those incredible animals and everything we have now. Sometimes it requires some tough valor and vigor. And that man happens to be Teddy Roosevelt. He is the most interesting man in the world. Now most of those animals that he did are officially going extinct. Boom. Roasted. Only Teddy Roosevelt will try to raise a bunch of cows in North Dakota and end up getting them all killed because he wasn't expecting the winter storm to happen. Boom. Roasted. Of course, Teddy then went on to go into politics and eventually become the president. He is the most interesting man in the world. Only Teddy Roosevelt would get into office and then quit to go fight in a war. Boom. Roasted. Of course, because of Teddy Roosevelt doing that, we actually ended up winning that war. He is the most interesting man in the world. There's no good burn for this one. No good roast. 
other than the fact that Teddy Roosevelt brought a fist to a gunfight once and won. He is the most interesting man in the world. After many crowning achievements, historian, police chief, politician, war hero, um, ha, EP told you to go fuck yourself. Boom. Roasted. And then you became vice president in a landslide for the Republican Party. Didn't see that coming. He is the most interesting man in the world. Let's be real, Teddy. The only way you can make presidency is if the president actually died. Boom. Roasted. Although... That did happen. And then you went on to do incredible things, signing more executive orders than anyone before you in history, uh, built national parks, uh, and uh, got your face on a fucking mountain. He is the most interesting man in the world. You deny Boeing a third term, hang up your hat, and, and uh, in an effort to keep your vigor alive, you put in Taft. That's a roast in and of itself. Taft? Ugh. Boom. Roasted. You realized how horrible he was and rethought your third term, and that's when you made a long speech, got shot. And here's the badass moment, going past the burn. Um, you got shot and then continued on for an hour and a half talking, and you didn't die that day. He is the most interesting man in the world. And you lost. I'm also realizing a lot of these facts are kind of out of order, and I'm just now starting to become in order. But you lost. Boom. Roasted. What does a man like Teddy do if he loses, though? Glad you asked, even though you didn't. I asked. Teddy goes on an exploration into the Amazon. Gets sick and nearly dies. However, at the tender age of 58, he learns about World War I. And Congress let him. Congress passed it said, hell yeah, we want that American hero in our war. He is the most interesting man in the world. But then Wilson told you to go fuck yourself. But it's okay. Because your last badass thing you ever did was to die peacefully in your sleep, I think is what they said. Why is that badass? Because let's be honest. The only way death would take Teddy is if he was knocked out. Because Lord knows Teddy would have roundhouse kicked that motherfucker in the face. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? So what's it all add up to? Well, this cup of coffee. Okay. Okay, that's actually a pretty good flavor profile. Specifically, the flavor that kicks in afterwards. Job Black Rifle for honoring Teddy's memory. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment below with your favorite Teddy moment in history. And uh, make sure you check out Black Rifle Coffee. Get into the ECS like I am. Check out Black Rifle Coffee. Thank you for tuning in. My dog says hello. My dog wants out. And I'm going to drink this coffee. I got to get going. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, everybody.